Hello everyone, my name is Iron Crow and welcome to Iron Crow Productions Co. This video is going to be a one-off type of thing just to present The Witcher Enhanced Edition in Stereoscopic 3D. So I've been playing this for the past couple of days. Uh, this is one less than one week until the release of The Witcher 3 and I am super excited about that. The Witcher is one of my favorite RPG series of all time and I decided to go back into The Witcher number one not only because of the fact that I played it seven years ago but also because of the fact that I don't think I ever beat it. I don't think that I finished the game. I might have but I'm not entirely sure. I think that there's around a 50-50 chance that I didn't beat the game so I've gone back in I don't remember remember a lot of it anyway so it's fine and what I'm doing with it this time which is very different from when I played it back in 2008 is I'm playing this in stereoscopic 3D and that's kinda of what I want the purpose of this video to be to show you this game in stereoscopic 3D and the game even though it is very old uh, it was developed in 2006, 2007, it was released in 2007, I think. Even though it's very old, it still looks pretty good in 3D. There are... There's only one stereoscopic anomaly, rendering anomaly, that I'm aware of, and it's in a very specific area that is a small area that you don't have to go to very much. And I don't know if I'll go there in this playthrough, probably not, but... Uh, it's just some water reflections, some weirdness with the water in, a, in the dike area. But other than that, we have a nice stereoscopic 3D game world here. Shadows work, lighting works. Shadows do have to be set to medium as per the NVIDIA profile recommendations. I never tried it with the shadows on high, so I don't know what the problem is, but... Medium looks fine, everything works. Dynamic shadows are just peachy. Damn, it's hot in this thing. So here we are in the trade quarter of Zima. I've just started chapter three, <laughs> and apparently there are a lot of chapters, so. Yeah, five chapters. Well, I guess that's not a lot of chapters, but the chapters are very long. Chapter two took me probably like eight hours to beat because I was trying to do everything. So the only issue with playing this game in stereoscopic 3D is the fact that the UI is 100% 2D. So if I press Alt to make the names come up, you know, it's a bit of a problem. So I try not to have those up too often. And I also play with less depth than I otherwise would. Just so that I can see the game world and the text at the, at the same time. Okay. So I actually don't know what I should be doing because I just, like I said, I just started Chapter 3. Yeah, I've already done that, so I'm not sure why that quest is still here. Been invited to a banquet at New Nera Court. I'm gonna have to get involved with some politics. Ah, yes. So I need to find the locations for putting the scrying devices, sensors, I guess they call them in this. What brings you here? Never mind. Every day the militia takes greater control of the neighborhood. Very they put tons and tons of work into the into the game world. The NPCs all say something. A monster annihilated a pharmacist and his apprentice at the merchant's gate. They told me to watch for those with a salamander badge. You got people with random things that they just they say. Just out without thought of our pay. Really a fantastic job making this world feel big and feel populated and lively. And this this was done back when uh, I guess there weren't so many games that really did this uh, to this degree. I often hear of bandits bearing the salamander. We want no trouble. All right. So let's see. I'm just gonna head over towards the scrying location or sensor location. Sorry. 
I've played a lot of World of Warcraft and devices like this, sensors, magical sensors, were called scrying devices, so that's why I'm kind of still working off of that Always previous experience. A good book, perhaps. Ah, here's the bookseller. Very good, because it's important to be able to sell your books. I thought only wholesalers came to market. Retailers enjoy good business, too. You get lots of books in the game, and once you read them, there's no reason to keep them, so you sell them to the bookman. And merchants in this game will only purchase specific items. Like, everything here is grayed out except for uh, the books, which I just got rid of. So I need to see what I can purchase from this guy, because you need to have the lore about monsters to be able to collect ingredients from them. So more vampires, sectoids. It's possible to find books just looting places and things. So I'm not going to buy anything just yet. Because I haven't done any looting of this, uh, this new area in Act 3 or Chapter 3. Finally, someone will appreciate my ways. What are you peddling? Previously, I dealt in farm tools, but lately, weaponry is more profitable. And I guess I should say that this video is going to be presented in full side-by-side -side stereoscopic 3D, which means that you're going to need to uh, be viewing this with the flash player, the uh, flash video player, I should say, or you're going to have to click on the link in the description if you're using the HTML HTML5 player, which you very likely are, if you're not a frequent viewer of Stereoscopic 3D videos, click on the link below that goes to an interleave VR website, which is going to play this in the Flash Player in an embedded window, and you'll be able to have access to all those Stereoscopic 3D options. So this game, I mean, this video is presented in 3,840 pixels by 1,080 pixels, which is the full side-by-side -side Stereoscopic format, which is going to allow for pristine quality. That's two 1920 by 1080p videos for each of your eyes. And if you just want to watch this in 2D, then you can just get the one half, the one 1920 by 1080 video by turning off the 3D in the flash player on the gear icon. And I highly recommend that you view this while you're in the gear icon with the 2160p video quality because that is going to be the only one that gives you the maximum quality. Everything else, every other option from 1440p on down is not actually that quality, it's actually half of that quality. So it's gonna be 2160p, and I guess if you're really in a pinch, you can do 1440p. It's only slightly worse than regular 1080p. So that's an option for you, but please, full quality. Uh, if you have any kind of issues with playing this, like it's it's not playing at the full 30 frames per second, then you can use something like 4K Video Downloader to download this video and play it on your system. Though you are going to need a player that's capable of displaying stereoscopic 3D properly, such as S-View or something like that. So with that all said, let's continue. So yeah, I need to get an upgrade for my jacket, but it's extremely expensive. And I have been getting tons and tons of money in this game, but I have to spend it on things like books, and main quests also require you to spend money too, so... I haven't been able to get up to 5,000. So I'm not going to be purchasing anything here. Not now. thought I could go... Oh, I'm not in... The door somewhere. Here we go. So people in this game do not care if you steal from them. Even if you rob them blind right in front of them, they won't say or do anything. This is not like the Elder Scrolls in any form or fashion. So I can just go through here, take all of the man's food, take his drink, Oh, and I should take his cheese as well. Like how the cheese model doesn't actually disappear. 
Hey, this was 2007. The technology to make things disappear once you steal them was not yet invented, I guess. Of course, the Elder Scrolls got that right long before, but, you know. Old shelf, did I miss something? Oh, it's torches and some secondary weapons. So I don't... Th I'm going to try and get some combat into this part, just because I'd like to show the combat, but I am in a city area, so Greetings. there's not going to be much fighting. My specialities involve more than common blacksmithery. You're a swordsmith? Someone who understands. Can I help? I'd like my weapon enhanced. Fetch me metal ores or runic stones to embed in the blade. What's the cost? I dislike taxes and guild payments. Thus, I prefer goods in exchange for my services. What do you want? A precious stone suitable for the hilt of a weapon for Count De Wet. Precious stone, okay. I'll be back. I have some stones, but not on me. I need to access my bank, which is in the inn. Like, look at this. Like, this looks... This looks so cool in 3D. So much depth perception. Like, this game is... its It looks old, yes. But the art style was very well done. It was an extremely good-looking game for its time. As all the Witcher games have been. The Witcher games have... CD Projekt Red has prided itself on creating some of the best-looking RPGs ever made, and they achieved that with The Witcher 2. Uh, and they certainly are going to achieve it with The Witcher 3, if you've seen the images from that game. Holy crap, that game looks amazing. Exotic goods from Zeracania, fragrant with roots. You don't look Zeracanian. Do royals sell royal strong ale? One of the big... Like, this game, I don't know if it was one of the best-looking RPGs at the time. I don't really remember. Uh, I think, like, Mass Effect came out around the same time, and that game looked really fantastic. But one of the big problems with this game and its presentation is a lot of the models are reused. Quite egregiously. Like, this guy... there, are, there's a, There's a model for, like, a quest character, a really important character who is exactly this looks exactly the same as this guy and it's actually completely ridiculous how often you see the same dudes so more information about herbs you need these books to be able to purchase I mean to you need to purchase these books to be able to gather the herbs that they advise you about barren land Yeah, I'll, I'll save off. I'll, I'll wait to purchase any of this stuff. Of course, get out. See, people recognize me, Geralt. There's actually kind of a lot of people in one area. I've never seen this many people in one area. Really cool. Geralt of Rivia. That's me. In the flesh. You managed to avoid the quarantine and gain official support. Martial law is like I can effect. see his eyes Water behind the helmet. Apply. I'll do my best to comply. You'd better. His eyes are wide open. Steel. <laughs> what was that about martial law? King Faltest has declared martial law in Vizima. Why is that? The plagues in half the kingdom, and monsters roam the city streets. And the quarantine and patrols aren't enough. Never you mind. So monsters. I guess at night you can get in some combat here. Uh, I'm looking for. I'm a high-ranking officer. I don't answer but questions and give directions. <laughs> These are not the guards from Stormwind City. As much as they might look like them. Whoa! He just pushes the lady out the way. A noble woman, no less. Why did they declare martial law in this district alone? Someone was mugged beneath my window. Till tomorrow. It seems I withdrew my savings from Vivaldi's bank what in time. Stance. Supposedly, the order bested the Squiretel in the swamp. Now, that's cool that he said that, because that's something that doesn't always happen. This is a, this is a game series that's very... Uh, that's very mindful of giving the player choices that have real impact. 
And that was the result of a choice that the Order defeated the Squayatel in the swamp. Directly a result of my actions, and that's cool that the NPCs recognize that. Till tomorrow. The story law, taxes, and the state of emergency are killing commerce in Vizima. Like, this is a character model you see always. The guy with the bell around his neck. Do the job. Damnable non-human seized goods from the warehouse. They must need gold. Yes? Is this the same guy? Godspeed. I think it is. You're huge and ugly. Oh, thank you. Jerk. Gambling den, okay. We can get in some gambling here, I guess. Now, this this game has some mini games in it. One of them is Dice Poker. Which is an extremely unfair game. Your chances to win at Dice Poker are, are very low. So, whenever I play it, I cheese the hell out of the system by save scumming. If I lose, then I just reload my save. Because it's extremely likely to lose. It's not a fair game at all. Another new face? Regulars must be recommending the place. This business grows more dangerous. I don't plan on rotting in prison. Prison's not bad. You a criminal? This hall exists for decent folk. I fear military lore. Perhaps the penalty for what I'm doing is death. Bribes won't Got a nice bribe. Irish accent the there. Soldiers grow more greedy and audacious. Something's afoot. I hope to be away before it occurs. Mm. How can I help? There aren't many people with Irish accents in this game, so it's cool to see that. Is this your place? I or hear that, honest. I should say. The shareholders wish to remain anonymous. Who are they? I epitomize discretion. As do I. Ask such questions and you'll anger a huge organization. Salamandra. Get out now! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't want to go around saying Salamandra to people because... They're a very bad group of people, and uh, you don't want to toy with them. Out now, or I'll call the boys. All right, all right. We've angered her. So what I'm going to do here is go directly to the sensor point. Not the scrying point, but the sensor point. So I, one of the things I like about this game are the character... I'm angry. Why? I'll feel safe among the shadows of the city walls. Why are you angry, though? I've never... Apparently I had collected this before. Terrible times. What was I going to say? I was saying something, but I've forgotten. There's a basket there. I don't think I can actually get to it. Behind the stall. Greetings, stranger. Oh, Another dude with a bell around her. his neck. She growls, but she doesn't bite. Usually. <laughs> the dog's name is Ada. She is a bitch. Plus, she's pampered and spoiled. The name of the king's daughter suits her perfectly. Do you know Princess Ada? Well, my wife is a laundress at the palace, so I'm aware of the gossip in court. I'd be happy to listen if I could look at your goods. Mm, certainly. I have the finest quality meat. I slaughter the animals myself. We'll see. Mm. <laughs> what does your wife say about the other courtiers? <laughs> it would take weeks to repeat all she said. Foltest, Velorad, Duet, Jacques de Oldersburg, Merigold. Who are you interested in? What do you know about Triss Merigold? Any gossip about Triss Merigold? Certainly. The women at the palace laundry love to gossip about other women. Well, they have the same mm -hmm. opinion as any with common sense. A sorcerer's place is in the tower, brewing potions and devising horoscopes from stars rather than meddling in politics. Furthermore, she's shameless to display her ass in such provocative attire. <laughs> well, if Ada didn't already hold title as Queen of the Whores, Marigold would have it in a trice. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... The sorceress that they're talking about, Triss Marigold, is to to put it simply, it's, she's kind of Geralt's girlfriend. So uh, 
Wow. Interesting. Thanks. And all he has to say is mm -hmm. interesting. Geralt, what a badass. Another cool thing about this game is when you're talking to people, life goes on in the background. Nothing stops or changes. Everybody goes doing their patrol path and living their lives. So you can see that happening in the background, even though there's the depth of field effect on it all. So that's really cool. See? This fellow's just taking a stroll. What does your wife say about the other courtiers? <laughs> it would take weeks to repeat all she said. Foltest, Velorad, Duet, Jacques de Oldersburg, Medigold, who are you interested in? Tell me about Foltest. The king. Need I tell you all I know? He slept with his own sister and begat Ada. Ill tidings indeed. A curse turned the girl into a striga. A witcher dispelled the curse from the princess, and Foltest was so overjoyed, he spoiled the girl rotten. The little Striga became a childish whore. Yeah, this this game doesn't really fuck around when it comes to... <laughs> to uh, how disgusting it can be. Later. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Hmm? What does your wife say about the other courtiers? <laughs> it would take... What's the word on Velorad? Our whoa, 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 whoa. master drinks too much and can no Rude. longer manage the city's affairs. No wonder, since to curry favor in the court, it is to be a marionette and jump when the king pipes a tune. <laughs> Look around. Bandits, monsters, and city hall is silent. Velorad should step down. Interesting. Mm. Do you recognize me? Anything about me? Sure. The laundresses gossip about you. And? They say you chase anything in a skirt, but you're a real dog for sorceresses. Supposedly... But he does know who I am. <laughs> they say you're as likely to whip out your sword as you are to whip out your... Um, um, yeah. <clears throat> a master of death hearts, <laughs> sir. That's Women true. Women fear your fickleness, but you fascinate them. Hey, women. Hmm. Thanks. Hmm? Geralt's not very interested in this conversation. Don't you fear bad-mouthing authorities during martial law? At worst, they'll throw me in the dungeon. I believe we must speak true even of the ruling class. This is our right. Bold words. Indeed. I have no intention to fear a dictatorship based on the exploitation of common men. I will not cower under the grim repression of oligarchs and aristocrats who have enthroned a wrongdoer, a man whose hands are stained with blood. Whoa, keep it down, buddy. Jesus. You exaggerate. Foltest's rule can't be that unpleasant. Ah, plague upon Foltest. I spit on monarchy, which long has been corrupt. Strange views. The people should rule. Common people like you and me. I'm not common, and I'm uninterested in ruling. You poor man! You've been indoctrinated by officials and by agitators who, for a few pieces of silver, whisper royalist propaganda in the ears of the masses. Open your eyes! Enough of that already. Hmm? Yikes, he's got some strong... Don't you fear... At work. Bold. Indeed. We're just gonna see what the other options are. You exact... Ah! Strength. The people... You're right. I figured you were a reasonable man, even if a mutant and a pawn. Enough of that already. <laughs> Girl's just not engaged with what this conversation <laughs> at all. What have you heard about Roderick DeWitt? Ah, the Nilfgaardian. He sticks to Ada like a burr on a dog's tail, but that threshold's high even for a count. Moreover, he's a knight of the order. So as someone sworn to celibacy, he can only plow the princess in secret. Duet represents the order in court, but I'd say he represents the empire of Nilfgaard and the imperial ambitions of the Black Ones. That's what The Witcher 3 centers around is the goings-on with the empire of Nilfgaard in the northern regions. I don't know a huge amount about what's going to be going on with that in The Witcher 3, but... That is going to be the center of the story, I believe. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Don't you fear at what? Indeed. I wish you luck. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there wasn't what anything there. What does your wife say about the other courtiers? <laughs> it... What about Jacques de Aldersburg? Grand Master sounds grandiose, doesn't it? Rarely does anyone recall that the Order of the Flaming Rose was once the Order of the White Rude. Rose. Now the once proud knights are racists and intriguers, acting under the guise of the highest ideals. Tis the Grand Master's doing. Before his knighthood, Jacques was a vagrant blinded by hatred of elves. One doesn't change so easily. Later. So you see... Things were better before the war with Nilfgaard. See how much conversation you can get into just talking to a guy named Butcher? It doesn't look like anyone special, but you get that huge five-minute conversation with him. Your hair is like milk. How come? And when you walk around the cities, little kids like to follow you around sometimes. There's a dog, Ada. You may wander about at night with a pass at your own risk. Now, your business done. What's that? I'll drink of the new Narakot. You look uh, eerily familiar to the guy standing 20 feet away, my friend. You might want to check that out. Alright, so what do we have going on here? Over here is the sensor location, which should be like a gargoyle head type thing. Yep. Place that in there. So I'm probably going to be spending the next several hours just exploring this place, talking to people. But, for the purposes of this video, I'd like to get into something other than that. So what I'm going to do is... Figure out how to get to the other places. Or the other areas that I've already been to in the city. Oops. So the, the Witcher 3 is coming out in six days, I think, next week. And I decided I'm going to try and binge on The Witcher 1. Try and complete this before The Witcher 3 comes out. So I've been playing a lot of this game. I've stopped taking a break from my uh, programming. I'm taking a break from my learning programming. And I'm going to instead try and finish this game. So I'm getting flashbacks here. From 2008 when I played this game. I remember this area. With the Royal Huntsman. I remember this place. And now I see it in 3D. The outskirts cramping you? I was ordered back to Vizima. King Faltest is returning soon. In the meantime, I reward those who tend to public nuisances. Public nuisances? Rewards for monsters. Got anything? What pays well? A huge wolf has appeared in the swamp, and the locals claim wyverns steal their children. Wyverns don't hunt humans without provocation. Locals, nothing but trouble. They probably tried to drive the wyverns off. Tell me more. Ask. Yeah, wyverns... pretty difficult. I've tried taking them on. They're no joke. Where did you learn about monsters? A family heirloom. A book wherein all beasts are described and shown. Know what it says there? What? Each monster embodies a human iniquity. Devourers. Gluttony. Vampires. Drunkenness. What's a giant centipede embody? Uh... <laughs> Farewell. Oh, does this take me to the cemetery from the back way? Yes, it does. Good, because I need to go in here to place another one of those sensors. Where exactly is it? There it is. We can get into some combat here. Should be some drowners we can kill. Yep, here we go. Drowners are piss easy. Oh shit, look at that. A gravier, I think. No, no that's a ghoul, I think. This, this game is kind of interesting in its old-school approach to RPGing, and it has an isometric 
type camera. So I can zoom out like this. Though, since the... My character is so far into the screen, it's kind of difficult to... Attack? Combat system... Oh, it is a gravier. Combat system is centered around pressing your mouse button. When it lights up, and you do combos like that. And obviously it's kind of hard to see the game world and see the mouse cursor at the same time because I had to have the mouse cursor over the enemy for that to work. There are two levels of isometric camera. This is high. That's low. And then this is the third person view, which has the camera move when I move my mouse. With the isometric views, I get the mouse moving, which does not move the camera, but I can click to move. Like so. Now the problem with this view is it's it's kind of hard to turn the camera. You have to either go on the edge of the screen and this game does not constrain the mouse cursor to the currently active monitor. So it works this way, but this way it goes onto my other monitor and that doesn't work. So I'd have to hold down the middle mouse button and move like this. But if you do it like this, you can't attack things and you can't move by clicking. You can move by using the WASD keys, but there's there's a strafe and no turn. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I, I never play like this. Whoops. Screwed that up. I always play with it in third person. So right over here should be the relief. There we go. See if we can find any other monsters around here. Show you some magic skills. Kaboom. Stunned them. That was the Ard spell. It's like a force wave. And I've upgraded so it has a chance to stun the target. And if you stun a target and attack it while it's stunned, you get an instant kill. So, that's why I was able to kill him in one attack. So let's go back to the temple quarter. This is an area that had like eight hours of gameplay. <laughs> maybe not eight hours, but like six hours maybe. There's just so much in this game to do, so many people to talk to. It's absolutely insane. I wonder how many lines of dialogue there are. Absolutely ridiculous. Another thing that makes the game take a while is there's a lot of running you have to do. It's just the nature of it. These areas aren't huge, but you have to run back and forth, back and forth between them. Uh, so it, it does mean you do a lot of running around. So while I'm here, I'm going to go to the inn. And I'm going to pick up a valuable gem. So I can give it to that blacksmith. Because there's an inn right, right over here. It's a pretty crappy inn, but... It'll serve my purposes. It. Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's rigged. What do you want? This guy's got some low-quality textures for his clothing. Bit of a shame, but not the worst thing ever. Alright. Store some of my food. Now, when I first played this game, it was not the Enhanced Edition. And the interface was actually pretty terrible. It was super annoying having to deal with... Uh, all the stuff... that you carry around in your inventory. But fortunately, they improved it with the... Enhanced Edition. Can 
We'll put that meter right away. I'm not going to upgrade anything just yet. Gold ring, that can be sold. So, I think I have more gems than amber. So just in case one of these isn't what that guy wants, I have backup. Put the cheese away, take something where I've got more stacks of it. Alright, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go to the last sensor location. It's right down in here. Okay. So what we're doing with these sensors is we're using them to detect the exact location of a magical anomaly that Trist discovered somewhere. I think it's in the trade quarter. I... I don't feel like talking. You look very worried. True. My grandmother, she's... Is she in pain? No. Many youngsters would envy Granny's health. She's changed, and dread fills my heart. Perhaps I can help. Granny will speak to me only to warn me away from the cellar. I'll visit her and find out what I can. My help will cost 50 orins. I'm not wealthy, but Shani spoke of your kindness. Where does your Granny live? The crossroads near where the peddlers stand. Farewell. All right, we just picked up a quest. I've been through this area many, many times. That woman was never there. Merchant's Alley right next to the junction. So right over there. Let's collect some verbena. This is one of my favorite areas in the city. Just because of how cool it looks in stereoscopic 3D. Got all these here. Another thing I should point out is I'm using sweet effects to enhance these visuals. There's it off. There's it on. Off. On. Off. And on. As always, a subtle effect. But I prefer the. I, I, I prefer the sweet effects look, obviously. That's why I'm using it. Nowhere to drink in this town. Oh, yeah, you guys look very f similar. Brothers. Who's this? I've never seen this guy before. Greetings. Greetings, dwarf. No pain in your teeth? Schmarz, Zine, dentist. Geralt of Rivia, witcher, immune to cavities. Right. Witchers slay monsters. Generally, yes. Dentists, too, but rarely. Because I'm a collector of teeth. Want more teeth? Certainly. The rarer the better. I'll pay. I'll look. Remember, they needn't be monster teeth. I prefer unique specimens with a story to them. How weird are you? Well, that's kind of unfortunate because I've sold many fangs and things. Also, you can see one of the glitches that I'm dealing with with this game. We got like graphical artifacts on some characters. Like, see that? How can I help you? I don't know what's causing it. I looked on the Steam forum to see if anyone else is having these issues, but it's just me, I guess. No one else has reported this. The weird thing is that the graphical glitches work in 3D. This is not the worst graphical glitch by any means. I'm going to show you right now the worst graphical glitch that I've seen. An absolute disaster of a glitch. 
really unfortunate because it ruins something that otherwise would be a pleasant sight, but I don't know what to do. I've tried changing the graphic settings. I've played this with SLI on and off. Don't know what the issue is. I found some things. I already have those. <laughs> oh, whatever fangs I have, he already has. A mammoth sneeze once caused me to squeeze a patient's tongue with pliers. I can pay you only 25 orans. Wait, beast fangs? Okay. How can I help you? People dislike you. They sneer until their tooth aches. Then... Yikes. Look at that. They don't pull teeth by themselves. I don't bother with the gap-toothed ones. They always spit on me. Take care. Until you get a cracked tooth. So that's cool. Stuff is... There's still a reason to come back to this area, even though I've... done most of the questing here already. What do you want? This guy... This is the guy I've been selling all my books to. No reason to talk to him. So there's still there's still stuff I can do here. Still quest to discover. And I need to go to the old granny's house, which is around here. That's it. Who are you? I Okay, uh... She doesn't want my help? Yeah, it's always funny because... Geralt, he's this badass witcher. Doesn't take nonsense for nobody, but when old ladies tell him to get out... He leaves immediately. So I think the issue here is... I'm trying to get into her house at the wrong time of day. She's not gonna let me in. I don't think. So what I could do... So I can go over here to my friend's house and I can meditate until nighttime. And we'll see if I can get in then. So we'll try that out. Let's see if we can finish up this quest and then call it quits for this random video. What brings you Goodbye. Wait, I thought Everyone's I could gone mad. I thought I could rest here. Yeah. Farewell. It doesn't give me the option anymore, okay? Well, I'll go to my other friend's house, then. Kalkstein. Yes, I still for my friends. Is this Kalkstein's? Because it's different. Maybe he moved. His, his bed used to be right here. Now it's just a stool. There used to be a plant right here. What's going on? Oh, that's r Whoa. That's new. He's got a teleporter. I already read that, but I can sell it for some good money. That's right, Kalkstein is at the tower, doing some investigations. Where does this take me? To the Swamp Tower, and to Triss's laboratory. Stay here. <laughs> so, where can I rest here then? I guess it's just the inn. I used to have another friend where I could rest. Okay, I know where I can rest. Maybe. I used to have another friend where I could rest, but... He's not my friend anymore, I'll just put it that way.
Right over here, Toller's house. Oh man, is he not here either? Damn. All my friends are gone in Act 3 now. What the hell? Can I just... Geralt, come on, you don't need to talk to him. You can just rest. He's not here. He won't mind. Shit. I'm gonna have to go to the Hairy Bear Inn. Meditate until midnight. <laughs> and yep, even the interiors change with the time of day. Time of day effects in this game are actually very impressive. So it's midnight, so nasty things are probably going to be out. See the moon up there? Heavily cratered. And at night time, you can pull out your weapons. Can't do that during the day. Around that corner, something moved. Likely monsters again. See if we can get into that old lady's place. Hopefully she'll be asleep or something. Honest folk sleep at night. What are you doing on the streets? Honest folk sleep at night. What are you doing on the streets? Okay. Save the game. And let's see what's going on after, of course, stealing from Grandma. Let's go down. See what I can see. Okay. She's got a vampire. Yeah, she had a freaking vampire in her house. That's what a flitter is. It's a vampiric monster. Well, this is perfect job for a witcher. She asked the right person. You bastard! My dear son, I'll call the gods! Woman, look at me. That thing downstairs was no son of yours. Open your eyes. Who are you? Get out of my house! Lovely lady. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to... Fast forward to the daytime. Actually, since it's night, I might be able to talk to Shani and rest here. Shani is another one of my friends who hopefully... He's still here? Yep, she's still here. Sleeping on the wrong side of the bed, in the wrong direction. Interesting. It's all well, Geralt. Nothing to say, but at least I can rest. So 
So I guess I'll meditate. I'll just meditate till noon. It's very important to be mindful of the time of day because the game heavily takes that into account. As you just saw, I wasn't able to get in to deal with the monster in the old lady's basement until it was nighttime. Now Shiny's not here anymore because she goes to work over at the hospital. So it's kind of cool and also kind of annoying the way you have to make sure you're dealing with the right time of day. And the reason it's annoying is because it's not like the Elder Scrolls where you can just wait anywhere. You have to go find a meditation spot. Alright, so... It looks like all the items have regenerated here because I've thoroughly looted this place. Her diary, I already read that. But I picked it up again somehow? So I guess when the chapter... Rest it was the next chapter, everything just... <laughs> Restocked, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I remember looting this crate before. So we're just gonna head back over, turn in this quest to the distressed nurse. Hopefully, I've got the right time of day. Yeah, we got some species hatred. For some reason they call dwarves, elves, humans, species, I mean, races rather than species. I mean... I guess since in typical fantasy lore, elves, dwarves, orcs, whatever, are able to create half elves, half dwarves. They're able to breed, so I guess they aren't totally different species. I don't know. How's my grandmother? She'll recover soon. The job proved difficult, but we agreed on 50 orins. I have the gold. Tell me what happened. A dangerous creature lived in her basement. It tried to enslave her, but worry no more. Gods, how horrible. She'll be fine now she's out of danger. I thank you. Shani spoke true about you. No problem. I only got 50 orins for that. But I helped out a, go a grandmother in need. So with that, I'm going to conclude this playthrough, this look, this thing, this whatever. I guess you could call this a look at The Witcher 3 in stereoscopic 3D. And it is going to be full side-by-side, side as I've grown fond of producing these 3D videos, so it should hopefully be a very enjoyable and high-quality and unpixelated look at this game. So with that, I'm going to sign out for now, and I want to keep playing this game, because I want to finish it before The Witcher 3 drops on May 19th, 2015. I've already got the game ready to go. I want to thank my longtime friend, Josh for purchasing the game for me for my birthday. It was the, the, the by far the best birthday gift that I received this year. Uh, so I've got that ready and preloaded. It's like 24 gigabytes to download, so quite a hefty file size. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be playing that, hopefully in stereoscopic 3D. The Witcher 2 supported stereoscopic 3D, 3D vision ready. And I've got a incomplete 3D Let's Play of that on my channel. Not full side-by-side. Side. That was before I decided to do things full side-by-side. Side. But it still looks pretty good. And uh, if you want to check that out, you can certainly do so. I think I'll have a link to that in the description below. So, God, I, I, I'm really hoping that The Witcher 3 is going to work in 3D. I have no idea if it will or not. But I'm hoping that it will. And if it is going to work in 3D, you might not be totally out of line to expect a full stereoscopic 3D Let's Play of that game presented in full side-by-side. -side. We'll see. I'm, I'm not sure what I'll do if it doesn't work in 3D, but if it works in 3D, 
you're going to be seeing videos of it for sure. Whether it's a 3D Let's Play or just one of these random quick looks, time will tell. So that's going to be it. My name is Icro, and goodbye.